recording. Okay. Okay, let me go ahead and fix this because it's only showing me on here. Uh, I don't know, I didn't keep your face there. <laughs> turn that off. There we go. All right, now it's got y'all. Hey, I'm talking. All right. Okay, wait. Okay. All right. Bro. Take that shit out. Well, I already have a podcast. It's called the Too High Podcast. So I guess I'll just make this another episode. But uh, I can't have a Too High Podcast not smoke, so I'm going to go ahead and put some put something in the dab rig here. I think I showed you I got this, huh? It's, uh, it's Stab Tech. Basically the same thing, but just a different name, different company. Here's a, here's a, my new dab rig, too. I fucking love this bitch. Let me see what percent I'm on. All right, yeah, 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 I'm on 8%, 9%. All right, bitch, bitch, bitch. Where's my dad? Hey, can y'all still hear me, everybody? Yeah. yeah. All right, bitch, we can start going right now. All right, well. Hey, if I hang up, is there any way we can keep going? And I, or I'll call y'all back from the same way? If you hang up, we'll... we'll We'll keep it going. Yeah, cause not, not like on tension when I go up, like you know, I like lose connection. I gotta call back or something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, if 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 it hangs up and you don't call it back, like like right away, we'll we'll call you back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cause no, I'm trying to walk to my cousin's house to get that piece I told you about. So oh, like, it's gonna work. But if it doesn't disconnect. Bro, they had a uh, they had the LSVI reunion last weekend. Hey. I ain't know about that. I ain't know they had one of those things. Yeah, it was kind of fucking crazy. Uh, Miss Wells was there. Um, I just seen Miss Wells not so long ago in New Orleans for the the convention. The had went there, and I ended up going to New Orleans to see her. But I just seen Miss Wells in New Orleans. I love Miss Wells. She she was my first teacher over at LSBI, to be honest. No, 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 no. No, it was Mr. Fisher, and then it was Miss Wells. Miss Wells has to be first. Hey, is Miss McCray still working there? I have no clue, but Miss McCray had to be first too. Miss McCray was working there whenever I was last over there, but I don't know if she still is. Mr. Craig is hands down my favorite teacher out of all of us, yeah. Oh, yeah. She was the only one that was like a real person. Nah, it was, uh... Everybody else was like... Mr. Craig caught me doing some inappropriate things. Yeah. Hey, I got a story for... Oh, what happened? You guys still hear me? Yeah. Oh, hey, guess what? Guess, guess what? Guess what, Jason? Ah. Uh, I don't gotta go back to my cousin's car. I was in my past all the time. <laughs> hey, that's, my, that's a good thing. So that means my phone is up. Disconnect. I can just go off that. We can keep it going. Keep it going. All right, y'all. Check this shit out. All right. So who has the topic? Who has the topic, y'all? Let's start the topic. Wait, it's recording, right? It's recording. Right? Yeah, it's recording. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so who, somebody start the topic. We're just going to feed off each other energy. Mm. Uh, there's so much to fucking talk about right now. Who are, who's in the sports? Go like this. I fucking love, I, I love football. All right, all right. Jesse, what about you? Bruh, I don't know nothing about sports. I, I ain't a sports person. 
<laughs> no, no, no. It was past that. What's something you're into? I'm in a sport. I can talk about football right now. What are you into? Uh, too high last time I did it, which was months ago, uh, 14 or 15. Look, I know I'm a stoner. I don't know about y'all, but this is a stoner podcast. I know the first the first episode of this I did with Ryan. And you talking about Ryan Boys? Yeah. Oh man, you talking about Duck? Hey, Duck, you think Buddy up? Last time I talked to him, I had a Jensen's gun in my head and I was in Baton Rouge and I was at the rest of it. Hey, Duck, I'm going to Ryan. Yeah, I live with Ryan. He's my roommate. No, bro. Hey, Axon is here in the room with me and Josh. I had just moved, I was in Austin, I had just moved back, and we went to Vincent House, and we called him, and I had Vincent Forty in my hand. Man, we was going to shoot somebody behind Vincent. I'll, I'll ask him in the morning about that, but he probably oh, no, 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 asleep right now. It was crazy. I tell a story for the podcast. Bro, it's, it's, it's a someone I can't mention. Alright, so, 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 forget I said Vincent and Josh. We're gonna say, real stupid, big stupid, and stupid air. Well, real <laughs> stupid was trying to have real stupid back, and big stupid had his own gun, and we almost shot somebody behind a girl, in other words. And we called big, big stupid, which is your roommate, and he was there, he thought everything was funny. Bro, y'all always, y'all always fight, y'all always was fighting about some women and shit, man. I, I, I can't, I, don't lie like that. I had too many of them. All right, let me hit this tab. I'm, I'm, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm going to pivot and take this dab on camera right quick. Just look. Look what I got in here. <laughs> it was really just, 
was sitting in a, in a corner of a pocket because I used to wear cargo a lot. And yeah, I'm pretty sure I almost got the dorm shut down a couple of times. How was that dab? It's good. It's good, man. Man, Louisiana done made it fucking real easy to get good shit down here. So this one that I'm smoking on is some uh, is some gelato crumble, but everybody has their own different tastes. Yeah, see, I like the gelato, but gelato is more like an indica. Me, I'm more like of a, a hybrid. Like if it's like 40, 60, 60, 40. I can go either or, but I'd rather like something that's more of an indica. Me too. I'm yeah. Hey, check check this shit out. I love this bitch because I can smoke in my room. Where where the fuck is it? Oh hey, shit. You got, hey, you got to shout out the uh, the name of your rig so they can get like a shout out and tell the people that's gonna watch it the, what what you think is the best. Uh, I gotta say this Simba right here is my favorite. <laughs> this Simba. How long have you had? It? I literally like got it just today, and it's it's already one of my favorite pieces. All right, what's 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 the second favorite piece? Oh, uh, let's see. Second favorite would have to be the zong. Can't go wrong with the zong. Wait, what happened, Justin? Let me see it, Devin. No, that's something. This this is just a beaker. You know what I'm talking about, though. Yeah, it. No, that's not a zong, though. I don't know. I know what you're talking about, but I don't know what it's called. Yeah, it looks like a heartbeat or something, you know. Yeah, it's pretty fucking. It's, it's pretty boys, weird. So Those are pretty cool. No, it's like it's like okay. You take a regular bong, Dante. And you yeah. Like, you like take the like the long part of it, and you like stretch it out on each side. Like it makes like a. It's not straight, it's like wavy. And then honestly, this oh, one's kinda okay. this one's kinda harsh. Right here. The the globe. Uh I, I'm not a big fan of this piece. But I gotta say You sound like it's kicking your head. For for uh for saying I don't like this piece though, it's a nice piece, even though I don't care for it. Bro, did did you finally upgrade from that fucking shit whenever I was up there? Yeah, bro. Okay. <laughs> so, so to be what, just to be a hundred percent real, I uh, this is my favorite piece, y'all. Little bowl piece right now, Todd. Uh, look. That's cool. I got a couple of dry pipes, I, although I don't, I don't really care for them too much. I hate this little bitch right here will stink up their whole house, though. You gotta watch it. Yeah. Well, what's your son's test? My bad, bro. I didn't mean to cut you off. Uh, oh, uh, oh, yeah. yeah the, like the best bond I get is really the one I got right now. But to be completely honest, I ordered that bitch on eBay. <laughs> <laughs> Probably getting a job in a smoke shop. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, at Wildside uh, on the, the new one that just opened up on Burbank. Uh, by right, right off, just south of LSU's campus. They got a bourbon in Baton Rouge. No, it's Wildside. Oh, is the name I of it. Said about bourbon. Yeah, he, uh, he said by, he said Burbank. Burbank. Yeah, Burbank. Oh, Burbank. Yeah. Hey, I used to work over there at one of the locations with Tolos. I was a manager for the one on Liverpool, and I was a manager for the one on Bur uh, Burbank part time. Oh, okay, okay. And I had, I used to work the one on Perkins, too. But Perkins sucks. Perkins is like fake shit. Oh, Jesse. Um, all right, so I guess I was trying to talk about something that's current that's happening. We were talking about Trump house getting raided. So what exactly did they find in the raid? I know they said they found about some official documents. Well, the thing is, that's all they said about it. They didn't say what exactly they found. They just said they found classified documentation. And my teachers were talking today about it being some crazy shit they found. But they don't know. I'm like, I, I've looked it up. I can't find it. Where the fuck are you finding this information that I can't find? It was, it was, uh, it was uh, witnesses and stuff that like trying to testify against him. It, what department in the government was it that like? It, it was, was the FBI. Department. And bro, they went to this. They went to this dude's house, guns blazing, like literally. It's some crazy shit out there, man. Well, no. So, there was a previous subpoena that the uh, that the Trump campaign actually complied with. That that's the basis for the current action. The initial subpoena uh, is what asked for documents to begin with, but he didn't give them all up. He didn't give all the documents up that were technically yeah, classified. Some like, some like chapter two, two or whatever the fuck it was called. He gave like certain pieces. He didn't give all the classified information. Like and that's because, it, it, that's they mainly have, because that with that subpoena though, they only requested certain documents. They didn't request them all. So it's kind of crazy because they basically just said, we don't care that we only requested the documents that were given to us. We're going to go in and try and take other documents. Like one thing they didn't tell you, literally half, half of that box was useless documents. This happens, and it has happened for each president in history. Whenever you're packing up, whenever your staffers are packing up and moving you out of the White House, it's fucking pandemonium. People don't know that, but it's very different whenever you move and out of the White House. You don't know what's coming and going most of the time. And so it's not uncommon for them to have to formally request documents from previous presidents. They did it for Barack Obama. They did it for, uh, they did it all the way back to, uh, not Clinton, um, Carter. And it's, it's insane because now, after 50 years, it's suddenly something that you need to raid someone's house for? Like, they didn't raid uh, Bush's house, even though that dude had plenty of information. <laughs> he was a dirty-ass motherfucker. Like, and, and they didn't raid Barack's house whenever he had plenty of information from previous presidents. Like, it, it's, it's crazy as shit because... They, they specifically raided Trump like that, and it's only Trump that they raided like that. And I'm not a big, I, I'm not a big Trump fan much bullshit, anymore. Bullshit, bullshit, big bullshit. Now, be true to me that, that this nigga was the biggest Trump supporter. If we argue In 2016, Trump, I, I didn't... In 2017 I, and 2018, goddammit, we used to make your ass hot with Trump. 
Hey, I'm a libertarian now, so. <laughs> I am. No, I supported Joe Jorgensen in the 2020 election. Now, t- t- tell the chat the truth. Just to remember you as being a goddamn Trump fan hard. Bro, what? I thought you was like diehard Trump. No. Diehard. I ain't got the I ain't got the Trump hat. I ain't got nothing. Do you remember the goddamn attitude or the, the fight you had with Chris one time? This nigga was like, and that's why America's gonna suffer. It's funny. It, it, it's kind of it's kind of funny to think about all of that shit because I was talking with Chris just the other day and he's hella more conservative than he used to be. I don't. I, I, see, we won't down talk people on this shit. I'm not down talking anybody. That's good to me. No, I no, love no, my no, guns. I don't. I don't. I don't down anybody. It's time to plug up. I don't want to lose a chance. But yeah, man, I, I feel like. I feel like they're all targeting Trump, but it's more so of a reason because it's also like at the same time he um he he he, he kind of had the White House attack, you know, like tell him a lot of motherfuckers to go. I can't say directly like go do what they did, but it was like an indication of go storm the White House. It was like in. He's like people talking cold, and that's what they said he was known for. The people that testified against him, he was low key kind of talking in cold, telling them to go attack the White House. Like if he, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But you know, everybody's entitled to opinion. I feel like that's like everybody's entitled to their opinion. Shit. Yeah, but whenever it comes to that situation, I mean, I mean, firstly, the man wasn't even in the Capitol. He was in Pennsylvania on that during that time period. Yeah, uh, no, no, no. The message he did out on the social media, that, that's what got all that shit had started. We're going to march down there to the Capitol. Even though he wasn't a part of it, you know, it, it's, it's just kind of a weird situation. And then we were told through sources that they told him that it wasn't a good idea to do this and they called it off because it was getting out of hand and it took him a time frame to do it. I'll put it like that. I don't know if that's true as well. This is all sources. It's it, it's a lot of it, it's a lot of personal source. Whenever it comes down to it, I have I have fucking DMs from people trying to you know indict uh, people all the time, and it, it and it's kind of crazy because I, I I I don't know if you know this, but I lobby in the Louisiana state legislature. Lobby. I, I'm a lobbyist. No, no, I'm sorry. You lying? Are you serious? <laughs> no, I'm serious. I'm messing with you, bro. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead, detail. What is that? Uh, 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 what is that? Do you listen to shit? So essentially, what lobbying is is you get you get a group of people, right? We try to change one specific uh, targeted action. So on LSU's campus right now, it's technically illegal to bring uh, pepper spray on campus, or it could be defined as illegal. So right now, we're working to get that repealed. But our whole mission is to make self-defense legal across the state of Louisiana and constitutional carry legal across the state of Louisiana. I thought self-defense was constitutional Louisiana because you got the right to kill in Louisiana. You got the right to shoot someone dead. Well, you don't have the, you have the right to, you don't have, you don't have any duty to retreat in Louisiana, right? We are a stand your ground state, but. No, if you run away, we don't have the right to kill you. That's all the difference. If, if you're running away in Louisiana, you can still technically shoot somebody in the back. Just taught me something. I didn't know that shit. Cause I thought that was illegal. No, not not in Louisiana. Um, I, it's I know, it's consistent. You gotta listen to each other. Cause just to talk, I, I heard my point, and then I was saying what I just said. So just what were you trying to say? So we What's up, know? Jesse? Well, what if like that just kind of sounds like like murder? Like if they're running away yeah. from you. That's they're not. They're trying, trying to get away. I 
think that was the law that was passed. Yeah, I agree with you. Because I, I could have swore that it was a law passed that if, like, literally, if someone's breaking into your house, all right, you got to kill them if they're facing you. And if their back is to you, it's kind of like they're retreating. They're trying to get away. Okay, like, so I, I hear that a lot, but that's not a real thing. So oh, in, in your in your oh, own oh, home, oh, in your oh, own oh, home, uh, all states in this country, even California, have a castle doctrine. And so what the castle doctrine says is that your home is an extension of your body, just like your car. So in that being said, uh, that castle doctrine states that you can defend your own property, right? Your oh, home... Oh, oh, oh. We know we're going to go off of all facts, so we need somebody to look up these laws just so we can be all factual. No, 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 no I, uh, look, I, I, I look, was literally looking at it today. I have a USC, I have a USCCA membership. All right, all right, so Jesse, go look it up. Go look it up, bro. Louisiana laws for... Um, go ahead and look up Louisiana law castle doctrine. I, I'm not trying to look that up. <laughs> Yeah, I'll I'll look it up for you. I have it right here on my phone. It's on it's under uh, uh, C USCCA reciprocity. Is this some kind of movie you can put it up there in the, in the video, or you gotta edit that shit? Uh, yeah, I can put it up in the video. Yeah. yeah just put it up so that way we can all see it. Cause I did not know that you teaching me something right now. All right. Uh, ch 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 let's see here. Pull it off to the side. Soda would be the Fanta. Like, I love Fanta. But since I've gotten older, I guess an uh, all time favorite soda would be like. Here we like go. Sprite. No, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. My all time favorite all right. would be Dr. Pepper. So, my all time favorite, honestly, gotta go with the Sprite. It, it's gotta just. Go with the Sprite. Okay. So if if we go ahead, it, it we see the reciprocity for Louisiana here. Uh, it's in the video. It's not in it's not in here with y'all. I I'm I may be able to share my screen. Let me see if I can. You know what I'm talking about? Can you share your screen? Um, I don't know if I can while I'm recording. Let me try. Uh. Share. Let me see. Let me make sure it's still. Yeah, it looks like it's still recording. Let me. I see the map, so she just popped up at the bottom. Yeah, it's it's here. So, I'll go ahead and pull this off, and just put up the map right quick. Then, uh, so right here we see Louisiana's reciprocity. All of the states in yellow have restrictions on con Louisiana concealed carry permits in their state. All of the ones in red don't allow it. And the ones in green, you're good. Um, so all pretty much like two, two, three little towns. Or one little section, but it's around about somebody that does. There's plenty. There's plenty that doesn't allow it. So, it, it, that's not castle doctrine. Each state has castle doctrine. Let me find, uh, let me find down here. Self-defense law. Louisiana is a castle doctrine state uh, with a stand-your-ground statute. There is no duty to retreat in any place a person has a legal right to be before using force or violence. And a person may meet force with force. Yep, and it doesn't matter the it doesn't matter the difference in force in Louisiana state law. Now that's not everywhere, and every state has their own laws. But Louisiana's castle doctrine and stand your ground laws essentially mean it's very hard to go to prison behind uh, a murder charge. Uh, as long as you can prove that they were targeting you for one reason or another. 
And that's why Boosie got like maybe six months for doing yeah. some crazy. Since somebody shot you over a cup of coffee, but technically it was because you stole coffee at their house. If you notice they stole coffee, but you're going to shoot them because it was like a touch of blood. Would you feel comfortable shooting someone over coffee or would you feel okay? Well, that depends. Were they, are they in my home? And if so, is that... Uh, but the technical shit, they just stole your coffee. You're upset. If they just stole my... That, is it my last cup? If it's my last cup, then... <laughs> it is what it is. But it's just like, you just stole my last cup. How you know I didn't want that cup? What if it was my last cup, though? Honestly, if you break in in my house, you're not getting to my coffee maker. <laughs> That's okay. just on me, okay. I though. Like, but hypothetically, like you walk into your house, y'all in your kitchen, and someone's just sitting there in front of your security, like waiting on some bitch to brew. Like waiting on a wait. If they're brewing my last cup of coffee as I walk into my house, and they're not supposed to be in my house, I'm gonna blow them away. The coffee is insignificant. It's more so than being in my home without me allowing them in. But yeah. The funny part is they look at you and be like, "Hey, yeah, just wait on my coffee." I'm not killing nobody over coffee. They shouldn't be in my house. Now, are we talking like first strike or second strike? Because second strike, they definitely did. No, second strike, we might be cool in my case. You might have made friends with the coffee bandit. You know, Kyle is the coffee bandit. Oh yeah, I did see that. It's like two of them the other day. He was like, I'm finna perform on you bitches. And this nigga said, I got I got I got like twenty thousand in cash and I know exactly what I got. I got a check in there, don't fuck with my money. <laughs> we got that one in so another seven video he just dropped like a couple of days ago. He's performing, fuck the police and set it off in front of the police. I'm tired of this. I'm tired. <laughs> Just let me know if I'm going to jail. I got the money's good. This is 30,000 cash. This is 
thirty dollars a keg. He said, how much you make over there? He said, about thirty, about thirty or forty. Well, how about this? You feeling your tired, that shit? Come work for me, straight up, straight up. Come work for me. What he said after that is fucking hilarious. <laughs> I'll have uh-huh. black women on your dick. Oh yeah, he said. Uh yeah, let me check. There we go. Watch together. Um, let's see. Let me pull it up. Okay, let's do it like you can't. Hey, I heard the little, like the comedy song, Can't Take Boosie Nowhere. Can't Take Boosie Nowhere. I think it was on TikTok. Let's do a Boosie reaction. I want to be low key kind of scared to talk that much. Let's see. Let's see what I talk about. We'll see. Hey, can y'all still hear me? Yeah. I'm looking. Here we go. Oh, damn. Hot take, my guy. Hot take.
Punch on the first white boy I see in there. What was he pulled over for? That seems like a bold assumption. Like they trying to get your ass. Trying to give dude trying to give his lawyers a good a good insane plea. I didn't hear the question. What was said? Um, your favorite munchie snack, top three. Oh. Mmm. I said, uh, either really cold, like cereal with ice cold milk in it, with a little sugar sprinkle on top. It doesn't matter what kind of cereal. Just not anything that's, like, too, like, nasty. Like, I'll eat, I'll eat, like... 
I gotta say, gotta be leftover pizza. Yeah, just some cold ass yeah, pizza whenever you stone. Like, I fuck with it. I got some leftover pizza in my fridge every night. That's like some shit you wake up after you fell asleep from being too loaded and be like, mm, pizza. Mm. It's definitely childlike for sure. Oh, yeah. I can't eat fucking Little Caesars anymore. I ate it too much as a kid. I ate too much pizza in high school. So, you know, I used to order pizza for everybody and shit. I think I'm blown out of, like, burned out of it. And so I order it, I'll eat it, you know. And then, and then I just work in the pizza place as a manager. I don't really like all that shit. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like entertaining, you get caught up in a conversation, you're just like, wow. You'd be thinking about it. It'd be crazy sometimes, especially in the mind of fucking, because uh, Ryan, Ryan has a very active imagination. So his mind, whenever we get on, on that shit, is fucking hilarious. Bro, Dante, yeah. you remember when, uh, you remember when you had Mr. Cri uh, Mr. Rito running after you whenever we was on a, on a football trip or I, it might've been, it might've been Chris that had him running after him and you came across the corner whenever he entered the room and smacked him in the face with baby powder. Mr. Rito. That wasn't Mr. Rito. That was, uh, uh, hey, hey, what was that dude that was the dreads, bro? Uh, Mr. D? Uh, who? Mr. D? Nah, man, he had dreads, and he, he used to work in our dorm for a little bit. Damn, what was his name? Mr. Gray? So, all I know is you just full on smacked him in the face with baby powder. He was young. I can't think his name, bro. He, he had a baby recently. Hey, remember when Devin was there? He was in there taking a shower. And fucking, and when you, he borrowed the speaker after you, my speaker. And, and we went in there. And, uh, he was like, Man, you trying to collect your thoughts, my guy? I just want to say I didn't understand like a fucking single word he said during that and I was very confused I was literally lost as to what was going on for the majority of the time period you were in the bathroom I just look up and he's grabbed it and I'm like what I'm like okay I 
and the whole time just Saturday is really all it's gonna be. <laughs> it's really fun, you know? I got I got it on video. You guys forgot it. And I see you guys a video you gotta put up, bro. You gotta get somebody to put up those freestyles in the in the in the in the, in the, in the, in the podcast. Hey, I, I got I got all of them, bro. I got all the uh all the old rap and shit. I got a song, bro. Hey, David, if I send you a song on Facebook, can you play it? Uh, yeah, like I, I might be able to. I can probably pull it up. It's like a, it's like a voice link through messenger. Yeah, I probably could. Uh huh. Hey, 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 been together. She works for an insurance company and she works in Covington. Her name's Caitlin Hoover. <laughs> and the last time we had relations, I made her scream and cry. Because I found it out so hard. All on a podcast. All on a podcast. It's straight up one on one. Yeah. But it ain't. It's on recording. It'll be okay. I mean, but hey. Oh, I just said her name, huh? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> hey, we, we, we can edit it out. I'll, 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 I'll blur your name. I'll blur her name. Hey, it doesn't matter. I want to finish. She can have like 12 or 13 guys. It'll be okay. They can find a pilot of that, too. <laughs> hey, I, I gotta tell me if I'm messing with this song. Man. Yeah, but I don't think I have you as a friend on Facebook. Hey, will it be okay? I've got your mic up. By the way, is it D E V E N? Oh, I found it. I found it. Yeah. By the way, uh, who the fuck calls at like two thirty in the morning and is like, let's do a podcast. Um, people that is my birthday and um, I'm like eight years in. So yeah. And yeah. like tall boys. So give or take like twelve. And also, I want to start a podcast, and, and, and we want to, like, make this a known thing. Like, I like what the 85 South, I mean, <laughs> I said 85 South, 85 South show is doing. I like what the, like those guys are doing over there. So, I want to make some kind of similar segment. But this is just a raw cut. You say whatever about whoever.
Vincent posted one of the really old ones. The, them B2 old ones. I did? No, Vincent. Oh, he posted the first time? He posted one of the really old ones on Facebook a while back. <laughs> it was like when Joseph Anthony was up in there and fucking uh, Alvin Payton. Whenever he still went to school, it's fucking old, man.
see them here just post it in the club what you want to. I got that in my own side. Post it what you want to. So, 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 my keep the podcast going. What's the next topic, man? We can do music, some music. What's anybody's favorite artist? Anybody rap that they love that album? I gotta say, I man, pers- personally, one of my favorites has always been Kevin Gates. Yeah, I like that. I like Gates, but Gates was not always my favorite rap used to be Boosie growing up. Partially because I grew up in Baton Rouge and you know, everybody talk about Boosie and Webby. We had Gates, but the Gates is like the competition for it. Yeah. I, uh, Then on top of that, it's kind of like a, oh yeah, to respond to the others, I don't really, I haven't heard too much of the other album, but I heard the, the one song, Top Bar, uh, Top One, so I'm on my own. I know it, that's like the favorite song on the album. Top Boy, I think it's called. Shit, what it is, I'm on bad, I'm on What's my mind. You want to bang, you can bang too. Time old song, any one of them, country, blues, rap, rock, gospel. Mm. Mm. That's a good one. Uh, let me think about it real quick. I gotta say, mine is the one when we just, he was with us, right? I think. No, that was Chris. We played Get On Your Good Foot for the championship game. Oh! Devin, that was you that was with us, right? Yeah, that was fire. After we won a championship. This one is dedicated to all the workers that have worked nine to five. That's me? No, this is my favorite old song. It's Friday by Sir Charles Jones. Oh, I was going to say, what the? I know that. That sounded too good right there. Gotta love it, man. Love that song. Another song by Jody. Who was like, see, Jody ain't gonna get up. Jody ain't gonna pee. Jody ain't gonna smoke a cigarette until he lay that lick. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. I'm gonna put it up now. I got another one too, but the other song is kind of like that. It's about your business. Bro, this is a photo. It's a video. Oh, they're not uploaded yet, it says. Bro, I, I got this other song. It kind of too much out of tunes too. But it was in the same category as that one. Tell me about your business. I don't want the shit. I don't want the shit. It says you're uploading it, but it's not letting me play them. How can I? All right. Uh, I'll text it to you from my phone. Hold on.
Do I have your number, Jesse? Do you have my number? Um, no, I don't. Okay. My bad. No, nah, you don't. There you go. I sent you my email, Jesse. Man, this is gonna take so long for me to find this song I'm trying to say. Because I gotta go way back up from like two years of this. Uh, yep, that worked. Bro, you had you had some flow breaks there, but other than that, that shit was fire. Hey, I got some more. Y'all remember the uh, put a pussy challenge? <laughs> <laughs> Like I'm Gucci Mane in 2006. Did you get it? Yeah, I got it. Hold up. I 
I can't turn it up. That's as loud as it gets. I'm recording it. I'm recording it internally. If I put it closer to the mic, it'll fucking pick up my voice twice. Yeah. So I can't do that. Uh, I have to do like this. I. Matthew? He said, that's your own boy later. I'll be the back behind it. <laughs> oh, that's messed up. Okay. That's your own later, old lady. I'll be the back <laughs> hey, what was the last verse he said? I said, I said he said, like it's not me. I couldn't hear the last thing I said. Oh, you cut off midway through. Oh. Oh yeah, because Jesse said the shit ran out of space. I remember that.
Yeah. Yeah, class about twelve thirty. There it is. I knew I would find it. I got nerve vape too. Nerve vape. I got nerve vape. A nerve vape? An herb vape. Yeah. Oh yeah, I said I was supposed to load on my phone. Upload it. I haven't heard some of these songs in like two years. I just sent y'all. Don't tell y'all how to never mind. Just that's it. I'm sorry, what did I miss? <laughs> I fucked up and said something I can't say on the podcast. Oh, so you Joe rogan yourself. Yeah. I didn't back the set or anything. But yeah, you said both of them. I didn't say what I... I didn't say anything about those two people. I said we had a drink. You got to Yeah, I always wondered that. White people don't put enough sugar in Kool-Aid. Yeah, that's why I drink the shit out of a jar instead of the bag. Bro, I am so deep in these messages to where it's ridiculous. I would get caught and go to jail over some of these messages. Drug distribution. <laughs> I mean, okay, well, that's, it's old. I mean, 
That's already shut down. Fuck that. <laughs> okay, I'm not used to this podcast shit. You should just ask me fucking. Shit. Smokey, smokey. One. Yeah, I just found it. I just found I found the other one, dude. Cool. Four. Yeah, it is. In what context? That does some weird shit. Whatever love you want to take it to, man. Youngest female to the oldest. And just kinkiest. Yeah, kinkiest, youngest, and oldest. I'll go first. Mine is 45. Crackhead, and how old was old girl that we went to school with? I think she was like 13, 14 at the time. Yeah. Wait, 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 What? What's the podcast? Don't tell any names. The youngest girl was like 13, 14. Let's get up off this stuff, nigga. I ain't trying to, I ain't trying to bullshit. No, we're just talking. This is a self-incriminating. Well, no, but I'm just like, I don't know. You know, the people that we're talking about might feel some type of way, and I ain't trying to... I ain't oh, no, that's why, that's why you don't say names. That's why you don't say names. Yeah, you're right, though. You're right, you're right, you're right. You're right. Cause, yeah. I would say <laughs> probably also about 13, 14. And... I don't know you're talking about, though. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's not talk about this. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's not who you're thinking. I mean, it, it is who I am. Yeah, it's not 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 who I am. Yeah, No, of course, of course, no. <laughs> That is so fucking true, though. That's so fucking true. And I don't have to go to um, school every day. Um, I would probably have to say legal weed, man. Straight.
Legal weed would be my favorite thing about being an adult, and taxes would be my least favorite. Are you serious? You got a kettle fight. Okay. <laughs> what happened? You're a pothead. I'm a po- I may be a pothead. I don't care. It's okay. I, <laughs> <laughs> I need all that weed to take the tension off of law. It's good. I never thought you would be the kind of this funny. Good fuck. It is so ridiculous. You have to read so fucking much. It's so boring. Well, my cousin's in school right now for computer science. She has to do the same thing. She had like six hours of homework tonight. I can imagine. That would fucking suck. I had like three hours of homework earlier, but... Technically, I have to write a paper, but I'll do that tomorrow. Like, in my town that I live in, school just started on this week. But I'm on the news and shit about, like, oh, school. And I'm like, I'm so fucking glad I don't have to, like, get my day to day and go and eat shitty breakfast. Oh my god, I'm gonna take the food. I can honestly say that school food was better than jail food. Yeah, it was definitely better than jail food. Tell, tell the, tell the, uh, the jail story. Oh, well, I had three fights. For one, I got arrested for a DUI, and I wasn't even doing, I was asleep because I ran out of gas. And I had just got off of work. And I got I got paid, and they didn't want to let me go. So they lied and said I didn't have my car. So I had my girlfriend, the one I stayed well, together with. We were living together, but we had to change houses. So she's looking for my car, chatting up my car. And it was in my clothes the whole time. So I stayed in jail for about a week. And they, like, lied. Like, telling me to change my home at a hold and blah, blah, blah. But the hold was, like, for $50. So, you yeah. You said a week of it was $50? Yeah, I, I, I did that instantly. But I had to wait. I bought it out for them, too. I had to sit there in jail for a hold for 50 bucks. And so it was, they came and got me for literally, like, $50. But it was funny because, um, oh, but it was funny because a dude told me I wasn't going to get out, so I bashed him in his face with a a tray. Then I saw some other dude, we had a fight because an argument about, um, Soldier Slum. (laughs) And I had another fight because I just got frustrated and I was ready to go home. But the food was horrible. They had some shit called mystery meat. You know how like you cook a, a, like a, a patty or how ground meat, ground meat has a shiny look to it when it's like fried in the skin. Uh-huh. So they had this stuff called mystery meat. And I was like, what's mystery meat? And one of the dudes was like, hey, son. Like, we all a family. So we were just talking. They got people telling stories about what they do for their career. Like, it was some cool people. Like, we started out with one. I'm in there punching on the wall. The dude was like, well, it's your fault. I'm drinking drugs. I was like, I wasn't. I was asleep, dumbass. And he was like, you bang on this wall, you're going to have problems. And I'm like, nigga, my shoes cost more than your whole outfit. I mean, how more than your whole check. And this should probably do it. Um, like, so.
has made it to a penny and it all tastes like that. And it has the shiny new candy right now. And then just sometimes they only give you like four pieces of bread and some syrup. Sometimes they only give you like four pieces of bread and grab an egg. Sometimes somebody gets an egg, somebody doesn't. Sometimes they just give you like whatever you get. Like, it's just kind of awful. And they keep it so cold. Oh my God. It's fucking freezing in there. If you go to jail, I suggest whatever you're doing illegal, have you two pairs of socks on, a t-shirt, two pairs of drawers, and that's it. Don't go. But if you're going to do something where you feel like you can, make sure you get to that case. That shit is fun. Shit. <laughs> is that your ring, Dan? For me? Yeah. What happened? Hmm? Is that your ringtone? Yes. Gotcha. It's a pretty fire song, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, well, I certainly think we have enough footage from a podcast. Do you want to call this the end of the episode? Alright.